I forgot what you had told me it was, but I was just, I was smoking regular weed. Like, <laughs> like I had no dispensary card or nothing. So I just had, you know, whatever dudes was giving me. <laughs> and you pulled up with some shit. I, I believe it was like in a foil or some shit. That's how I was like, well, this shit dangerous. And, <laughs> and we smoked it and I was stuck in your car for like 30 minutes. <laughs> we were singing and shit. We were singing Brandy. It like, was like, we were... And I was like, I've never been this high before. I was like, yo, for, I I will purposely do shows in the family room just so I can smoke some <laughs> And then don't, like, you you don't remember when we were at your house and like I passed out, I had the blanket over my head and Teddy was sitting next to me. I was like, oh, this is too much weed. <laughs> 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 oh, so you you changed my life, Brent. Like, oh, so <laughs> I, I, man, you changed the game. I was like, damn, y'all didn't know you can get that high. I don't know how y'all be that high and still be functioning. I I can't do it, bro. To hear, I was in his car for like thirty minutes, stuck. Like, yeah. stuck. Like. You ever be like have your mouth open and you just start drooling and you didn't realize you were drooling? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> and then Brent acted like it was nothing. He was like, all right, cool, we gotta go back and do a show. <laughs> we still had to do the show. <laughs> no. I'm like, the show, nigga, who? When? You're gonna be good. You're gonna, it's gonna be fine. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> like I should not be seeing giraffes, nigga. <laughs> no, I saw colors. Like you know, we start seeing colors, my guy. Like I, I really believe it was purple smoke. I was like, oh, I see smoke. This shit purple. This is what it is. <laughs> it right, might have been. Good. It might have been purple smoke. You <laughs> <laughs> That's too much. It took me on a. We were trying to baptize. We were trying to baptize Lou. I thought I was doing all right. I I, I understand now why Smokey was the Debo Pigeon Coop. Swear, like I said, like it was one of those moments for me. I was like, Smoke dog, yo, I can do this. L.A. <laughs> <laughs> is different. We got pictures of Lulu from these days too, when she just stuck in the valley. <laughs> She's mad stuck. What up, Kanisha? Hey, I'm texting everybody like, oh, let me in. So, Bye, right. man. My phone tripping. What's up, y'all? What up? What up Kanisha, why you got two screens? What's what that mean? Oh yeah, Kanisha, you got a Kanisha screen. You got what two does that even mean? You don't see it? No, but I it don't show on mine either because if if the if the video is not on, then it won't it won't. Oh, it great. just has a Kanisha box. Oh yeah, it ain't showing. Oh on oh, oh, you know what? Because I'm on every phone trying to get in there, so <laughs> I still oh, in. Yeah. <laughs> I can remove it. Hold on one second. Let me see. Oh. Why were you baffled? You were like, what? What? Because <laughs> <laughs> I had to think about. It. I was like, I, I'm still logged in. I'm logged in on every phone, like. All right, there we go. Again. You got rid of it? it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Ah, dog. <laughs> Brent, that's your green screen? Yep. What you be doing on there? Stick what you be, doing, where you be keying into? And then, and they gonna be doing stick <laughs> finger porn. <laughs> Why you ain't putting nothing up today? <laughs> Shut up, Lulu, I'm all right. <laughs> Wait, but do you, do you normally use that for stuff? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Would you be keying in? Um, I don't, I, um, I don't know that terminology, but I'll be I'll be using different backgrounds for stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what I meant. Like, yeah, what you be putting in the what you be putting in the green? <laughs> uh, I'll be putting all kind of stuff, man. I got I got different sports shows and shit, so I'll be it'll be looking like stadiums and different hey, stuff on. I, I don't know that terminology when they kept it all the way. <laughs> but I'd be, <laughs> but I'd be changing my backgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, man. 
That's funny. As hell. <laughs> Can you do it now? I kind of want to. I kind of want to see this in action. That's what I said. I want to see some. Put some. Uh, put I want to see in a candy some. shop. Put <laughs> right. uh, Santa's wait, workshop wait. back there. I hate y'all. <laughs> hey Pat, you ain't. Hey, when you get a chance, check your DM. I saw some things and thought of you. <laughs> what you saying? One of them I know you really gonna like, and the other one I will. Everything I see is like nature and shit like that. I'm like, I send that to Pat too. It I'm like, Pat, can you this? I'm like, Pat, Pat Geo. I was like, Pat Geo. Oh, look at you in the bay. <laughs> Nah, I man, give us another one. Right. That's where you we got, we got that like one, Greg. We won't, we, we won't like see one we ain't got. Picture. Nigga, no, Greg. There you go. Hey, that's what it looked like when Brent stepped outside. Honey, <laughs> 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 I, mean, I shrunk these niggas. <laughs> that nigga set you all the way up just for that joke. <laughs> hey, I would watch board. that, honey. I shook these niggas. <laughs> oh, that! Hey, I would love to see like Marlon Wayans do a spoof on that. You sent me Ninja Turtles with ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she sent me some thick ass Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh my! <God. laughs> go Ninja! Go Ninja! Go! <laughs> hey! Hey! As soon as I saw them, I was like, "Oh, Pat will love this shit right here." Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> it's like both of his worlds. You got Ninja Turtles and fat asses. Bookmark. Oh, <laughs> that shit was bookmarked with the quickness. <laughs> See, I know what you like. Hey, hey. But then you you can't say teenage mutant and just you no, gotta be adults. Like thought he turtles. turtles. That's I that. Don't turn ninja turtles. <laughs> Thoughts in a half shell is crazy. Thoughts in a half shell. <laughs> thought he's in a half shell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what happened, Brent? Go back. Why yeah, why'd you fail? Are you gonna make fun of my background? Shut up. No, no, no. Nothing is funnier than me saying Brent is gonna be in the bay. And then I was like, I told y'all niggas run it back. I was like, that's exactly what <laughs> you <laughs> 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 I was how's everybody's funny. weekend? Relaxed. Yeah. I saw you, Pat. Pat had the weekend of a 50-year-old white woman. He was Man. in the valley. You know, <laughs> White old people must have so much fun. I'm starting to Nigga. follow them. What did you do? They have no stress. What did you do? I was uh, biking through some vineyards. Oh, I did oh. see you on a train going through Napa. How was and, that? And, I want to do that. It's dope, but what they but no one tells you is that if you have allergies, that shit will oh, whoop man. your ass. You Damn. you think it's just grapes and shit out there? Hell <laughs> no. Nah. <laughs> that if you you'll spend half <laughs> you'll spend half the day like getting your ass whooped and then oh, really? and then you can enjoy it. <laughs> so you got to get out and like, walk in the vineyards and shit. Yeah. That's And they give you like bikes and wine and shit. It's pretty dope. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. And you had a Kleenex. You had to blow your nose all the time. Ben had a handkerchief. Yeah. He was he was stuffing the handkerchief <laughs> in the sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> Not you the big people hair. used to do that. They would blow their nose and put it back in their pocket. Yeah, yeah. I never That's thought that was sanitary or, so or personal. Just okay to do. Oh, and they shared. They were like, "You need a hanky," and yeah. people would <laughs> and women will use that shit and give it back. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I can see Patrick. I can see Patrick with the sun hat with the little veil that come down. <laughs> <laughs> Hold wine like this. <laughs> He's fancy, yo. Oh, my boy, fancy. Did That's you have crazy. a scarf around your neck, like around your head? A, bu a babushka. <laughs> With <little> bolts, like, <laughs> it was polka dots. <laughs> I was like, my word is hot polka, out here. Polka dots <laughs> is the print. <laughs> <laughs> my word. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. What the rest of y'all do this weekend? 
Um, my niece had a recital at uh, Debbie Allen Dance Studio, and Debbie oh, Allen, wow. she's there, and she just has this presence of Ooh. class and everything, and all the kids is dancing, and Legend. I don't know why, of slow tears, like, I really just start singing, I believe the children are our future, and I'm just crying, I'm like, why am I, I'm so emotional now as a mother, and I'm just sitting there crying and watching the kids and it's beautiful and hoping they can grow up and not be like the rest of these kids out here. Like we've got <laughs> another chance y'all. So it was beautiful though. <laughs> Debbie Allen is the epitome of class. Oh my gosh. Make me want to put my titties up. <sighs> you say make my titties sit up? Is I that said what? make me want to put them up. Like, you know, oh, you know, like, <laughs> oh. I thought you meant like. <laughs> no. <laughs> the, class, the elegance. The elegance. Uh, hey, Debbie Allen's parties are just legendary in in Los Angeles. She wasn't there, but they used to have the little Debbie Allen parties, and they they were just were they like, dancing uh, in there? Like everybody just dancing? It was like yeah, it was like high high school. It smelled like you know them them parties that smell like perm and and sweat <laughs> in high school. Those yeah, were the it's an good old smell too. Oh, as soon as you a, walk he, in, you're like, "We're gonna party. be a good night." Those are good parties, though. That's, that's gonna be a good party. night. Because everybody was like dancing. We used hair to get and them, sweat. We would sweat the gel mm -hmm. out. It would be yep. coming all out by the end of the night. So that's it. And then um, I got these new magnetic lashes, but I hate them. I don't know how people are wearing magnetic lashes, but it's the worst thing. And the, you just pop them on and they stick. Now, it. But they just. I, I don't like them. Look at you looking. Yeah, you just. How how, how do you get the magnet on the because you need two it's magnets a, for it a to liner. be. No, it's a liner. So you put the, ma the the liner got magnets in it, I guess, like a liner, and you just pop it on. Can you pull it, it off it, and put it back on? Yep, and it's just like a magnet. It sucks it right back. It's crazy. Well, um, well other things that's metal stick to your eyes? Yeah, it sticks to the top. It's like these little magnets. So I'm not really feeling so it. So like, like you go to the refrigerator? Would you go to the refrigerator? <laughs> Would she just jump <laughs> off and fire? <laughs> like, the door? Help! Yeah. Help! <laughs> <laughs> hey, would you be would you be mad if a dude put them as mustaches? Like, <laughs> he came through at the night, was like, "Well, uh. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna make a landing." Oh shit! I'd be pissed though. Low key. Oh, a magnetic landing strip is that what yeah, you said? <laughs> <laughs> you now can you land the toy plane. You <laughs> oh damn, Gina! I'm doing it. <laughs> That's funny. Is it safe to have magnets on your eyes all day? I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they've been out for a couple I years. Like I can do this. Take them off. Set them down. Then if I go do so, I could just keep popping them off and on before I go on stage. Take them off. Throw them on real quick instead of having the glue on all day. I think it might be a quick. You know, even especially when you go to dudes' house, you try to leave your lashes on. And so now you can just pop them off, set them down, get it in, throw them back on, and they don't mess the lashes up. That's pretty high tech. Y'all take your eyelashes off when y'all getting it in. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see if I can. Ponytail like, up, eyelashes down. Like how far can I be? <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, that was my edges. Motherfuckers get some edges. You know what? They be like, nah, nah, nigga. You like to go everywhere. Let me just go ahead and. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I laugh. You don't like to busy. tell bitches when. I ain't playing with you today. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's been many a night's ruined just for that same combo. Like, man. You, so you just couldn't go anywhere else? No. Yeah. It works is when somebody tells you to do that and then they still get mad at you. Like, it burned. But like, bitch, I didn't tell you to well, keep your eyes well, open. When we say the face, we mean like nose down, not eyes up. Like, well, I'm going to tell you what, a penis, a penis <laughs> here, isn't exactly really? a pistol. I don't yeah, have full like, control from like here of the projectile. Down. <laughs> the penis isn't a pistol, Lou. We yes, don't have full is. control hey, over it. All day, y'all practice. That's you talk about practice. Every time y'all all pee, day we you practice. practice it. <laughs> what do you think we do? <laughs> y'all practice like, ooh, right there, right there, like ooh. Listen, ooh. pen. <laughs> oh the, the, the pee stream. The pee stream is completely different from ejaculation. Okay, but it's, it's the same power. Powerful. Huh? It's the 
<laughs> you think we coming on a target all day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Lou <laughs> act like we go to the P range. Like we be going to the range. Where it's just toilet bowls. I'm like, all right, niggas. <laughs> hey, that sounds fun as shit, don't it? Don't that sound fun, though? I would like be me and Tanisha will commentate that sport any that day. Would, that would, would be would, dope would, to do every to morning. I'm clean up guy. At the, at the yeah, it's right. real ammonia me today. Bullseye. It's a yellow steamy, <laughs> but it's full of force. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. All y'all do is practice aiming, and then when it comes, y'all don't know how to put it in the right pocket. What if you a bad shot and you just have, you just have cum stands all around the target? <laughs> <laughs> you knocking over your toothbrush and shit. <laughs> hey, but that makes sense when dudes be peeing Yo, on everyone. <laughs> They do. I don't know how you get it behind the toilet, but it'd be there. So see, that's actually really interesting, though. So when women say my like, come on my face, they mean nose down. They they always don't mean all this. That's that's most of it. That's my eyes. What about the forehead? Hey, if you scaled like that, if you could hit here, miss here, and still hit here. Okay. How many shots is these people? How many shots hey, is man, these people? Yeah, that's taking the fun out of it. The fun is just letting go. Like, ah. Here we go. Hands free, too. That's why you got the magnetic glasses. <laughs> I got to do this like a fucking fire hose. Yeah. Hands free. <laughs> Uh, it's a hearsay. <laughs> like no them car wash people. <laughs> <laughs> I be all out. The inflatable arm joint. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, this is a perfect place for us to jump right into today's first topic. I want to give a funny. shout out to our special guest, Kanisha Buss, Brent Taylor, and shout out to the OG squad, me. We got Lulu Gonzalez. We got Patrick Cloud. We're going to jump right into this first topic right after this. Looks like we've reached that part of the show that nobody ever skips. Sponsored by Lucy Nicotine. Lucy's tobacco-free gum, pouches, and breakers are intelligent nicotine options for upstanding, responsible adults like yourself. All Lucy products have three things in common. No tobacco, powerful nicotine, and delicious flavors. The beautiful thing about all this, shipping is always free and there's a 30-day refund policy if you change your mind. So Lucy has sent your boy a bunch of products, all right? And I've been really enjoying the gum. It tastes and feels like normal gum. If normal gum had a nicotine kick. So I've been using the four milligram one and I love that winter green flavor. It's that natural gum flavor that I love anyway, so it keeps my breath fresh on top of that. So visit lucy.co. L-U-C-Y dot C-O and use the promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, to get 20% off your first order. That's Lucy, L-U-C-Y dot C-O, promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, to receive 20% off and always free shipping. And here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age and every order is age verified. Warning, this product contains nicotine, Nicotine is an addictive chemical. First topic of the day, we have, would you rather date an abnormally tall person versus a little person? You said abnormally tall? Abnormally. Like, What's abnormally? Like seven, eight. Ooh. Damn. And then yeah. what's the little person? Like and three, How short four. are we talking to little person? Huh? <laughs> Shut up, up, there, so. <laughs> this is easy. About about Brent. Put the grass on. I have a tape measure. Just, just pull up a picture. I'm of the tall girl. Why y'all bullshit? I'm going to talk. Huh? That's always the little ones that love tall women. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the tall girl off top, seven feet. Yeah, uh, six foot and up. Um, that's you seven foot with range. Seven eight, Brent. Yeah, nigga, hell yeah, because I'm all be, pretty short. So, this nigga like a toddler. I, just <laughs> he put nigga. you on the hip. What you gonna yeah. do? <laughs> come here, baby. I'm just saying, I'm coming in like I will come in like parkour, my nigga. Like I would be like. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be swinging on shit. I'd have like a rhythm to my shit. I'd roll into it. Like, like it, it'd be like street. You would look like you would look like French like park just holding you and breastfeeding. Like you look like you with your guardian every day, Brent. Every time y'all go out, <laughs> seven eight is more bigger than a, a guardian. That's like a, it would look like you were you. It would look like you're their pet or like they, their spirit animal. <laughs> Not the spirit animal. She bad. Wait, 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 wait. She bad seven eight though, right? She a bad seven yeah. eight or is she? Like I think both bad, options yeah. are bad, right? In both situations, they bad. Bad as fuck. Yeah, but if she a bad seven eight, that means she wearing heels. Even if she wear two inch heels, Damn. she like eight feet, bro. How tall are you? She can't get into places. She gonna have to wear slides. <laughs> you can't get in no car with her. Y'all gotta ride separate. Oh, that's no, I'm a little, little person though, because there's short yeah. people and there's little people. No, we talking like like three four. Three four. Because if you're like too little, then it's now you gonna look like you can get it. Okay, so what 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 are we saying? Four feet? I'm doing tall. I'm going, I'm going giant, man. I'm leveling yeah, up. I'm going big. No, I'm talking about for the for the height of a little person. What are we saying? Three, I think they're normally three and a half. like you said abnormally is like three, right? Ooh, two five. You three. Said abnormal. Two five like vertical. Like, well, like many men normally tall or a regular little person. So like oh, a regular little like three, three and a half, three and a half, four feet. How would y'all like sleep in the same bed? She would be curled like she would have to like spiral. Nigga, that's not a big spoon. That's that's a pitcher. That's a that's a, that's a ladle. Ladle me, baby. A ladle. It's a Cinnabon. <laughs> <laughs> and then if y'all travel together, she's in the plane like this. Uh, curled around. She just she gotta, gotta lay in the aisle once they take off. No <laughs> I play a lot of basketball, so I'm, I'm still going with my big. I'm still going with the tall girl. Like I need a friend, nigga. I got like we could post you up. Go, we could do a pick and roll. Go. Like we go overseas. You so go, you guys can go, go, yeah. huh? go around. If your if your girl is seven eight, she finna be finger banging you, my nigga. This is how Brett would be with. <laughs> 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 they would have a theme song and everything. Me and my girlfriend. <laughs> Not my buddy. Did you do my buddy? He goes. I quit. I, I quit. quit. I mean, Pat, Pat, do the spin. Do the spin in the circle with the arm. <laughs> Nigga, it's no way she could come to your apartment, Brent. You, <laughs> you gotta always go to her shit, and she got tall personal classes. You got <laughs> it's like an ogre like coming Zeus's to house. a dwarf's house, like in yeah, a yeah, basically. <laughs> nigga, Brent needs to. She can't feel the furniture. She can't. She couldn't feel. Shut up, Lou. <laughs> she can't sit on my furniture. <laughs> 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 my, red, my furniture is regular, nigga. <laughs> you ain't nah, nigga. We all know that you broadcast right now from an Apple Watch. Ain't nothing you got regular. <laughs> I'm at a kitchen table right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're zooming on the Apple Watch right now, nigga. Ooh. If, if Brent cheats on her, he, she'll just put him up on high places. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. <laughs> Come down when you can be faithful. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Bianca, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Kanisha? Uh, it'd be hella lit at a concert because she could ride on her neck and see everything. You know what I'm everything. saying? Like, have a ball. So I, I'm <laughs> here for it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. That's like balcony. What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Huh? I don't know if they get what y'all doing? Y'all going? Y'all going, going with weird. the little person? No, I'm definitely going with the tall person because when you do, I'll look skinnier than him. He'll be my perfect selfie height because the higher you go, the smaller you get. I'll look selfie? Mad little for this <laughs> I'll look so small. 
small. Kanisha, you know how big seven eight is? That's like an you arrow. Know how you know small? I mean, I mean, be looking, looking little to the mother. Like, that's, that's so high. <laughs> That's catfish height, baby. I'm That's here like security camera height. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> you know, I have no idea. Oh, Especially man. I already, you got to understand, I look really skinny from the top up. So he'll never be able to see the rest anyway. Cause he'll always be looking down. So it's like that is crazy. Hey, security cameras do have kind of like cool angles. I know. Now I think about it. <laughs> Have See, you been to my Instagram? All my pictures is like this. <laughs> she knows the angles, folks. I think you gotta like I'd be mad as shit if the if the, the small dude cheat on me too. Like that should have blew like blow my ego. <laughs> like, <laughs> like this little nigga cheated on me. <laughs> <laughs> what if he was like, it was just a little fling? <laughs> I got a lot of girls. You're not my only one. <laughs> it was just a little pussy. <laughs> See that over there? <laughs> oh. Wait, but you wouldn't be mad if the if the giant cheated? Nah, because I was expected. I'm used to tall dudes cheating on me. Uh, yeah. But a giant? Yeah. If, it, if it was a giant, that's just more pussy he could get. He get giant pussy. Like, yeah. like giant bitches now. He, he like, can't go anywhere in public. They'd be like, hey, I see your nigga across the street. <laughs> he's at, he's exactly. sitting and you can't lie and be dinner. like, was it me? Like, yes, it was. You, you oh, my fucking, like, that's you. It's, not, yeah, it's nothing you can, it's no way you could be incognito and be that tall. Everybody's going to know it's you. See, mm -hmm. that small nigga, he could, he could hide, blend in. Before, yeah. <laughs> oh, hilarious. He could eat at the same restaurant as you with his, with his chick. <laughs> <laughs> She did alone. She cheated on me with my man. <laughs> wouldn't be able to see. <laughs> Quick look at. Oh, he not here. <laughs> he macking her up from beneath the table. <laughs> like this. Like under the table. Like He's not looking, right? <laughs> oh, oh my god. What you doing, Pat? Which one you doing, Pat? Yeah, I'm oh. going to talk. I don't know. Seven eight is crazy. You can't do crazy. anything. <laughs> but I think you know, roller coasters, <laughs> like traveling, is going to be impossible. Damn, there's no plane. You can't get on there roller are no coasters with a small that person either. Somebody that's seven eight. You can't get eight. on with a small person either. You can't yeah. get on with a small so person either. Just scratch amusement parks off of your list <laughs> with either person. That's true. But I mean, you could walk around with both of them and be like, "Hey, that looks fun." <laughs> <laughs> you can play the game. <laughs> you know, funnel cakes. Uh, or you can take do the that. person to the kids section though and watch them and you know let them have a good time. This is the hardest one in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'll go tall. It, it, it might be an experience, you know. Seven eight. Everything will be tall. experience. Here's the thing you gotta think about like when 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 little people are too short. Or they have like, um, what's that one? It's a, it's a show about it. I don't know if it's on Lifetime or what, but the, the chick is like 24, 25, but she looks like she's like eight or nine. Yeah. You're walking around with this person, all the looks that you're going to get. Right. People not knowing their age. You just look like you just picked somebody up from school in a white van. Oh, yeah, yeah, like all of that type about, of shit. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. But I mean, so, some little people do look developed. You know, they don't they all do. look yeah, like Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's but what I we're talking just, about right now. Right. Maybe have an ass. You said abnormally. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. well, also, that tall chick, she might not be able to ride you long, Pat. Her knees is not going to stand long. I mean, sex ain't going to work. It's the just, minute it's just her, not. You ain't, no going from the, ain't no going from the back <laughs> either. If she's seven, eight, you ain't going, unless you stand up in it. You literally got to stand up in it. Ain't no way you hitting that from You would back. have to stand on the, on the back of her calves <laughs> and try to reach to, <laughs> to eat her butt and you'll be standing straight up. <laughs> <laughs> That's I don't know the, what, how that worked. That's missionary <laughs> only right there, my now boy. Now I'm trying to think, is she slender or is it a thick-ass tall person? It makes them... Damn. Yeah, I was thinking she was thick. That's yeah, Wonder Woman. You were, that's, a, that's a real story. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If she's 7'8 
and she got Damn ass. Bitch. You need a lot of dick for that. You, you you need you need ten to twelve inches to get it's all gonna get that from the back. Lost. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> you just gonna be peeking in. You're just like that's all. That's no, all no. they're gonna be able doing. <laughs> you might just need to like put your whole body into it. Give it all she's got, right. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> All systems go. Just use yourself as a projectile. That's a magic school bus type shit. Right. Oh my god! Oh, that's, that's hilarious. Based off of that alone, I to hear I'm you doing a little first. first. I, I think I'm. I'm going to. I've, I've had experience with it. I'm a fan of it. That's why I met with it. With the you, you down with the put them on and spin, huh? So that's terrible. I should have. I mean, I, uh, I mean, I, it's just hard to, it's hard to picture. I can't see you cuddling. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the, I'm the opposite of tear. <laughs> you said what, Brent? I smash tall girls. I'm, I'm going big. I smash tall girls. I'm going big with it, B. I'm sorry. Brent, <laughs> yeah. what's the tallest you've gone? I uh, mean, probably like, mm, I mean, She's probably like six to six something. Six. I mean, when they have tall, when they over six feet, I can't really count up there. But I mean, I, <laughs> over six, over six. I got a few over six. Yeah. I think a said, I can't see that high. Oh, yeah, I was, I was Five, eight, six, eight, seven, it's eight, eight seven. It gets the clouds in the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Whatever man. at this point. <laughs> it's just titties at one point. He's just <laughs> like, I think she cute. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, so Brent's going tall. I'm going a little person. What you going, Pat? I'll go tall. tall. Give me the giant. Lou? Tall. Okay. Kanisha? Tall all day. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> A tall people got it on that one. We're going to jump on to this next topic right after this. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex, fellas. Remember those days when you was always ready to go? Now, you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in the bedroom. Listen up. BlueChew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra. But here's the thing. They do it in chewable tablets and at the fraction of the cost. You can take them at any time, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever the opportunity arises. The process is so simple, all right? Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you receive your prescription within days. The best part about all of this is that it's all done online. So no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in the line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped directly to your door in a discreet package. So I'm saying, you could be missing out on the best sex of your life. Blue Chew wants to help you discover better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And we got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we want to thank BlueChew for sponsoring the podcast. Second topic of the day, we have, would you rather fight Mike Tyson once versus speak like Mike Tyson for the rest of your life? Damn. Oh, okay, is this a professional fight Let or a street speak. fight? <laughs> you say what? Professional fight or street fight? 12 rounds. 12 heavyweight rounds? Wait, well, we have to survive that long, though. We, you, you can get knocked I mean, out in the first. If you can't survive, you can't survive, but just know it could go 12 rounds. Oh, okay. I'm okay, telling you. Which, which Mike am I talking like? Am I talking like the first, the early Mike when he, or the we newer talk, one with the, face, with the tattoo Mike on right his face? We talking hey, Mike, Mike right now. Right now. Oh, yeah. It don't matter. Yeah, like, the, me, the earlier Mike. Mike just gonna knock you out faster, but this nigga is still Mike Tyson. It's have still you seen Mike. the training videos? Yep. It's still Mike Tyson. Nigga. Yep. 
This nigga <laughs> ducks down. He was showing somebody. I'm saying like, like, how am I? But I'm like, am I talking? Am I talking like Mike? How? Yeah. How am I speaking? Am I speaking like the mic now, or am I speaking like the mic before? Because he talked different now. Does he, he talk, talk better he now? He talks slower now, but he talks to pretty much the same. The list is still there. No, he talks the better now. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he got a lift. Man, he smokes the voice deeper. And he got a cartoon. <laughs> That's cartoon funny as shit. He be talking. He, he be talking. His voice well. is a little deeper, huh? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, and a little bit faster, a little faster. I don't know how y'all are debating. I don't know how y'all are debating. I don't know how y'all are debating. I rather a speak bit. like, I rather speak like Mike Tyson. It's, it's all good. It's, it's not a problem for me. I can speak like that anytime I want to. All day. All day. You want to see some titties? Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I said, it'll be me, him, and the girl from PLW. I am not fighting to say I got a baby to make a home to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to talk like that when you smash it, too. Oh, that's right there. You know you like that. Oh, that's it. I'm here for it. You like that. This is good. You like this. Okay, I like this, too. I like this, too. Hey, pussy, little Brett. As Say who's pussy? Who's pussy is this? <laughs> Come on, tell me who's pussy is this. Said on you on a phone call. <laughs> hey, who's pussy is this? <laughs> who's pussy is this? I want you to eat it like an animal. I want you to be like an animal. I want you to be like Napoleon. <laughs> wow. Use you your strength. You put all your strength in it. Put your strength in it. Put, in Put all your strength in it. Yeah, that's funny. I want you to bite. Just bite me. <laughs> no. Ain't no way in hell. Ain't, yeah, I'm gonna have to fight my way every day. <laughs> I feel like he'll respect me though. He'll be like, I respect you came in the ring. And, I don't give know, no fuck about no respect. You don't be looking like Mike Tyson. Give a fuck. You ain't never going to respect me in the ring. I'll respect that. I'll fuck that. That nigga ain't yeah. hard, bro. He will hit you so hard, you'll end up talking about him anyway. So you should have just. <laughs> Listen, brain you go in that ring, you go in that ring with Mike Tyson, you already nervous. Right, that nigga hit you with one stomach blow, and now you shit yourself. So not only did you get knocked out by Mike Tyson, but you got knocked out so hard you shit yourself. <laughs> Has that ever happened in boxing? <laughs> I don't know, but I know it would happen to me. I got the type of luck when that shit would definitely happen. But you could throw the fight too, person. right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm gonna throw the fight. So you gonna go in there and get you gonna get hit once and just fall flat out. That's so all it the bell ring, I'm gonna come out and fall down. You ain't you ever heard of ghost punch? Nah, that nigga gonna lift you up and punch you. <laughs> what if he disfigured that one punch disfigured you? So like, you like this for the rest, and now you like nigga. Listen, oh, you big eyed little from up, the rest of your life. I'm going up like this, so he only can get that body shot off. Just don't hit me in my face, nigga. But I go ahead, do your work. Some broken ribs. Yeah. You'll knock your spleen out of socket. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have trouble enough getting dudes. I ain't gonna sound like Mike Tyson for the rest of my life. I ain't that's, never. That's wild for the women. <laughs> <laughs> you coming over or not? <laughs> so you coming over? <laughs> you think about that. And the better you get, the higher the voice gets. It's like nobody's gonna take you serious in the argument. Your voice can't. Don't say no me. You know what I'm saying? Who is this? 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 You know what? The luck. I I know sign language. I'ma just start dating deaf niggas and fuck it. Who these bitches? Who these bitches in your phone? See, you talk my phone back, Kanisha. I don't got that. <laughs> <laughs> They're the only ones that don't hear you. <laughs> Kanisha, why are they laughing? <laughs> why are these niggas not shit? <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> oh man, I need to go to deaf school. Come on, man. I need to go to deaf school. Is that what you just said? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Work. 
That's a good language to know, low key. Yeah. <laughs> I love That's a super good language to learn. Kind of want to know. I know the alphabet. Y'all know the alphabet? Yeah. I know the alphabet. That was it. So you can holler at a girl in sign language? See? No, I can just say the alphabet. <laughs> 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 it you hella long to have a conversation with somebody. Man. Yeah, words or some words or some. <laughs> All you gotta learn to sign are is: Are you, you impressed by the alphabet? <laughs> if she says yes, start from the top. <laughs> are you impressed by the alphabet? <laughs> find a little workaround. <laughs> oh my god yo. you be like <laughs> man it would make so much of i mean so many of our careers so much harder all of us are comedians or uh, podcast hosts or actors and i mean just trying to get an actor gig unless you could do impersonations and change your voice that's gonna be that's gonna be tough nigga I'm not booking anything. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, my guy. <laughs> I can't play a scientist. I can't play. <laughs> A, a scientist top. with a list would go, though. A yeah, scientist with a list would go. So it's like, <laughs> your nerdy ass, your big ass. That'll work. That'll play. And oh, a gamer. You could be a she gamer, though. You could be a dope-ass gamer with a list. Yeah. Yeah, she okay, kicks, that's she cool. She can't even say Chicks with lips are are cute. That's like a chick with a gap. That yeah, we but we also talk cute. about Mike. You could be boys. in a singing group. I'm getting to the tired of your broken promises. I mean, who was killing it? Fantasia did it. <laughs> he did. But we're forgetting the tone and the speech cadence. Right, of right. Mike Tyson. He don't he talk even regular face with a lip. That's yeah. true. What That's was true. God doing when he was like, I'm going to make this nigga so powerful, but also funny? Because <laughs> <laughs> he is funny. I love him. He's so funny. He's so funny. Oh, I love him. That's crazy. God was like, hey, this is going to be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> a funny hope. You, you think he was pulling characteristics out of like a bowl and be like, okay, uh, we got strong as fuck and I pitch voice. <laughs> yeah, you, ever be, you ever be cooking and you think you added salt and that shit was like paprika? You like, oh damn, man! Dude, I'm gonna eat it anyway. I've done that with sugar and salt. They look alike. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I think happened with Mike. That was like, the most oh, ironic man. person ever. <laughs> I don't know, but we better chill before we have to fight this nigga anyway. Now we don't right, yo, this nigga goes to comedy shows. <laughs> <laughs> I throw a jar of weed in my tank. We'll you ready here. to fight the here? I wonder how much he smokes now that he started smoking. I wonder if he smokes like rapper smoke. What do you mean he like oh, he yeah. started oh, recently? Yeah. yeah. Nah, nah, I mean like within the last probably like five to ten years he started because he, 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 he got his own line of weed. Yeah. He got yeah, Amazon. Yeah, I want to I want to know how much little, he smokes. He's got ears. The you saw the little ears, ears that he got. That edible. was very funny. He's so funny. Yeah, smoking that gaff. We over here smoking that gaff. Edible ears. I want Give me the list, nigga. Give me the list. <laughs> we all doing the voice. We all doing the voice. <laughs> Say you want the ears. <laughs> I want to try some of these ears. Is that like half an ounce is half an ear? Like, huh? <laughs> oh my god. I wonder what flavor they were. That's kind of weird. It has to be chocolate. Yes. There's no way he could cut a vendor out of that deal. Oh, wow. No, I think they did it together. Remember, they did it together, I, I right? Like they did it together. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I they thought too. Together. Is it a mold of Evander's ear or something? Yeah, yes. it's supposed to be something yeah. like that. It's supposed to look like the, yeah. the piece that he bit off. But they're like gummies, right? Yeah. 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 
That's wild. Hey, there's no she way Evander is not chocolate. even like a little bit still mad at that. He's probably <laughs> still like this thing. Because I ear. imagine like a chocolate brownie. Like that's the <laughs> ear. But yeah. That's how I envision it. <laughs> With strawberry filling in the middle. He had that's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, ew. <laughs> and you bite it. Uh, it's uh, like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Blood start oozing out. Yeah. Wow. Jerky would have been crazy too, because it's cartilage. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, this is some tough ass tears. Some chewy. <laughs> <laughs> but do you have it like with the bite, or do you let the people create their own bite experience? <laughs> <laughs> what? Just the whole ear, and then however they bite it. <laughs> Bite it's, it's perforated though it's perforated at the top so is it yeah. telling you where to bite it though <laughs> <laughs> it should have made like an action figure and you bite it off yourself <laughs> interactive <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> alright who's going with what what we, what we doing on this one lisp give me the lisp give me the I'm lisp fighting. I guess I gotta fight him that sucks <laughs> I'm not fighting I'm not fighting <laughs> I think I'm gonna fight him too, man. That would be I, crazy. I'm gonna I'm lose to him. I'll say fight him, but I say I'm gonna I'm lose to him. Yeah. But. Just so you get your ass whipped by Tyson or have to talk like Tyson because it ain't no fight. Yeah. Because the voice I forever still, is wild. I still got I, I still got to work, baby. I still got to work. <laughs> y'all saying that until it's time to fight. I swear to God, if it was soon as it's time to fight, y'all be like, no, nah, we're not like this. We're not we saying like that we're not I'm scared. Yeah. Like, I'm still gonna be scared. I still don't want to do it, but I also don't want to talk like that forever, nigga. Forever? I can't talk dirty like that. I need I need my like, put it that bell ring. You're gonna be like, I changed my mind. I wanna fire. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run face first, face covered, but face first into his punches and get it over with fast, nigga. Uh oh -uh, yeah, face I'm not, I'm not first. <laughs> We gonna have a fight, man. Mm, I don't know. You might, I'm gonna try to bite this to, nigga. I'm gonna try to bite him before he bite me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta try to turn him on the genie. Like Mike, we gotta just beat this genie up together. We can get all the wishes. <laughs> we don't gotta do this at all. Uh, <laughs> my thing. If you get off one good shot, though, if you just get off one good shot, they'd be like, oh, that nigga got that one good one, though. No. Like, he lost. No, that you're not a boxer. Nigga, that one good punch would do nothing, man. <laughs> you got one nigga, good punch? I can say I stole off on Mike Tyson, nigga. It's like the Terminator coming after you. He really is going to turn that shit on. Because now he mad like, you got a punch off on me? Nigga, right. can you imagine somebody just running around the ring, just trying to run for Mike Tyson for the whole round? <laughs> Me, I just imagined it. <laughs> Doing the rope dope. I'm gonna try to tire this nigga out. I'm gonna try to tire him out, then trip him. Like fucking Ray Mysterio. <laughs> Jumping. He got so much stamina. He's not getting. You're getting caught. This, you're caught. There's no. Hey, listen. I like I'm, listen. I really, I really met Mike Tyson before, y'all. And like, honestly, the guy who was at a show, somebody pulled a gun out on him, and the dude oh, was scared yeah. of Mike. The dude with the gun was scared of Mike Tyson. That's how scary Mike is in real life. Yes, I heard That's of that. Crazy. He just kind of take the gun. I like, was there, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was like, "It's okay. I'm sorry. This happens everywhere I go." Sorry. Like, and nigga it was like nothing to Mike, nigga. And, it was, and, <laughs> and then he I beat up a dude on the airplane that. the next week. <laughs> 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 Why did the guy with the gun get beat up? <laughs> Wait, what? That airplane, whoever was on the airplane must have done some crazy stuff. <laughs> he was, he could YouTube it. Yo, he kept fucking with Mike. He was like slapping Mike in the head. Yeah, yeah, he that, that white dude, with Mike. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Mike. Did the wizard ask him the same question? Why was he fighting Mike? Like, <laughs> he was just bothering the shit out of him. Everything sounds sweet, yo. <laughs> right. He yeah, thought it was the internet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was leaving comments on the nigga. nigga. <laughs> that nigga Mike turned around and wailed on it. Even in that small area right there, got some good ones off. And you knew it was first class. Can you imagine getting your ass beaten first class? <laughs> That's wild. That's not how you plan your day to go at all. 
<laughs> the last thing you ever think of is Mike about to beat my ass on this plane in first class. You're in first class. Like, oh, wow, you were about to get everything. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh my God. That's that privilege for your ass to you be here to sit there and mess with Mike and nothing's going to happen. That's top tier privilege in your head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. All the Mike and ain't nothing going to happen. Bless his it, little heart. Designer right, beat off like in the, first uh, class. The so. fight might have it on this one. Uh, we're going to jump into this last topic right after this. All right. Last topic of the day. We have, would you rather have a home on the beach versus a home in the mountains? Oh, this is a good one. This is there's no stress. No stress in this one. It's just what you would rather do. Uh, For me, it would matter if it's a vacation home or like my regular home. Because if it's a vacation home, I'm picking beach, right? Or it depends on what I need my vacation home. If my vacation home is supposed to be just like relaxing and getting away from people and I want to be isolated, I'm going mountains all day. But if I don't mind other people and shit, then I could do the beach. So I guess it just depends on like what I need this house for. What do you think when you say uh, mountains? Like what do I'm you think? I'm thinking like, like you've been a you've been a big bear, right? Mm-hmm. So like that, like mountainous terrain, a lot of green forests, cooler temperatures. But also neighbors. snowy? It could be snowy and not a lot of neighbors. Neighbors are, uh, you know, mile, two beach. miles away. So wait, this is summer home or or or, or regular home? You got to pick one. Because it makes a difference. If it's just your regular house, it's yeah. going to Let's go with, this is a vacation home. Okay. So am I like in an island or am I like just like on a, on a beach of a city or something? Yeah, because beaches are close to uh, L.A. So you right. So let's say because it's vacation, let's say, uh, let's say Playa del Carmen or Playa del Carmen, Mexico. I feel like you're saying that wrong. OK. I need right. to get in the state. You said Playa del Carmen. <laughs> I said <laughs> Playa at first. You're right. I fucked it up. Players fuck up. You talking about Mexico? Let that go. You a petty nigga. You a petty Lou. Don't don't engage Lou. Don't engage. I was like, I I corrected myself so bad too. And that nigga. I don't think that's all the Spanish said. (laughs) Player day, Carmen. I thought you were talking about that Beyonce movie. And the world when it was a musical. Oh my god, I love that movie. That's, I won't get my tarot cards read to this day because of that fucking movie. You know that? I never read a single card of it. Oh, oh. for that, Brit. I've never even heard of this place. This is bomb. What plot? So it's, a, it's a player song, they call right? me. Plot. Shut up. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Here's the thing, though. Okay, it, it's the beach place. Or is it prone to hurricanes? You, Brett, you took the words right out of my mouth. Nah, it's not like that. I mean, there's always the the possibility of like flooding and shit like that, and just that, but it's not prone to natural disaster. It's not one of those places. Because the only, only reason why I would choose, yeah, 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 because you, you got like natural disaster. Ain't got no parking for people to come over, and I like company. There ain't no parking, and you can get caught in the, and you can get caught in the avalanche in the mountains. Earthquake, avalanche. Remember, uh, See, I, yeah. I'm always thinking like zombies ain't gonna come to the mountains. So if that shit ever does happen, I'd rather be in the mountains. And I can always go vacation somebody warm, somewhere warm. But if the killer in the woods, I can. You can you get away no to the ocean. To hear you scream, and so you can't get out you of there. Should, you think? You think if I got a house in the mountains, I ain't got no weapons in there? That killer can be in the woods all he wants he, to. The moment that nigga comes to in the reload house, your he's ammo. A What's a you think zombies there? don't like? Wait, you think zombies don't like the snow? I'm confused. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think they can make it in the snow. Based off of the movies that I've seen, World War Z, they beat uh, people. I am legends. They don't really. They don't really zombies are tropical like people. It's too hard. It's no <laughs> way inclined for zombies up. <laughs> That's a leg out of Hawaiian trips. <laughs> Oh, it's too cold over there. <laughs> 32 degrees? Nah. Zombies look at heels, they be like, ah. Zombies stick their hand outside, like, how warm is it outside? 
<laughs> yeah, they don't have enough clothes for the winter, though. They should be all tattered. They, I don't, you're right, T. What be happening to zombies' clothes? They gonna get frostbit. You know what I mean? I'm good then. They, they do they breathe? Do they be freezing to death? <laughs> I mean, did. I guess. If, I mean, if anything is outside for oh, long yeah. enough. I mean, depending if you're equipped for it, like polar bears are equipped for it. They got enough blubber and fur. Listen, yeah, but why, then you got to live there too. Have taught us nothing. They <laughs> live in the snow. You say what, Lou? If white walkers have taught us nothing, they survive in the snow. Oh, they different though, Lou. Why? He regular zombies. He don't want that top tier. If it's too dangerous for zombies, chances are I don't want to live there. <laughs> I don't want to live there. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be struggling until the zombie apocalypse. Like, <laughs> give, me, <laughs> give me the beat. <laughs> I'll figure something out. <laughs> I don't want to be borderline yeah. frozen to death. Zombies don't be thinking, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> Pat, you just vacationed in a fucking cave. You just and stayed. I in knew I was coming right back. <laughs> I I don't think I could live in snow. I love visiting it, but it, it's a lot. Well, I'm not saying it's gonna be snow year round. Like Big Bear doesn't have snow year round. Big Bear but is kind of still a good the movie. mountains though. You still stuck in the mountains. You away it's from it. everything. Angle, like it takes you like two hours. To get... Going up and coming down. That specific, specifically coming down. Yeah. We were coming down when we had went up there. We had did this little cabin thing. They got these cabins called getaway cabins, and each cabin is it has like you know just the the, the bare essentials of bed. They got a big ass window you can see out of, uh, two top stove burner, uh, shower, all that shit. So we did that for like four days. Coming down the day we left, it was foggy as fuck. Like you can't see more than three feet in front of you. And it's Damn. the incline yeah. is like this and all curves, bro. That shit was terrifying. Jesus. But fun at the same time. Three feet? Like, and where was it two two way traffic? It was two way traffic, but only one uh, lane. Mm -hmm. Going around going on cliffs and curves, right? Yeah. yeah, but I mean at the top of the mountain they had they had a couple little markets and shit. So I if you don't have to go nowhere, you ain't gotta go nowhere. You only got you only gotta deal with that when you're going down the mountain. But the it's like Kanisha said, it's hard for people to get to you and stuff. Like, like you, 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 you secluded. <laughs> but I mean, again, yeah. that, that's that's what it mean. That's what I mean. Like you got to decide what you want your vacation home to be. I would rather vacation somewhere warm with my people. Let's take a whole trip like that. But when I need, as a, I mean, I don't know. Me as a creator, I be needing my space sometimes. I need to remove myself and and have that. At personal time, so the mountain would be great for that. Like I could play my music as loud as I want. I ain't got to disturb nobody. I ain't got to worry about nobody unexpectedly dropping by because don't nobody want to do that hill. So I like yeah. I like I the like mountains. The mountains. I, I feel like the mountains are peaceful. People over, so I don't care about that. Like you ain't. I can live on the beach, and you don't gotta come over. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not giving you Hilarious. the address anyway. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's that, that's that's true. And also mountains, uh mountain towns usually don't have great food. Beach mm. towns have really, really good food. Yeah. Like, usually when I go out to the mountains, I sacrifice you know a lot of good meals. Yeah. <laughs> and then I like the option of being able to be on land, be in the water. I love the water. I love to go swimming. Yeah. I love being in the ocean. I don't like the seclusion of be I feel trapped in the mountains. Like mm. really something happened. I can't get out quick enough. Like yeah. something happened. I get that. Beach, I could hop in a, in a boat. I hop on a freeway, especially like I'm thinking Malibu, like yeah. the freeway right there. But it's not Malibu; it's Mexico. Think about y'all. Think about that too. Can we can't get nothing in the states? Uh, nah. <laughs> nah, you're <laughs> freeway <laughs> climbing. Nah. So then the I mountains is what New Zealand. <laughs> Why not, nigga? <laughs> oh, definitely. Ooh, not. I might do the mountains. Gosh. I'm the mountains. I like to snowboard. Are you good? That'd be fun to live out there. Huh? Are you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I really snowboard. I used That's to see all the time. I've been doing it for like 20 years, yo. Like, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn, I didn't know that. Yeah, uh -huh. that shit fun, bro. Like, yeah, I, I'll, do the I'll do the mountains, bro. 
Do you take you your own yours? popsicle stick or do they have popsicle sticks for you when you get up there? <laughs> I got my own. I got my own. Hilarious. I got my own. I got the one with the joke on it. <laughs> all, all I thought it was like uh, Jerry from Tom and Jerry where he'd be like, take a cracker and like. <laughs> 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 You take an olive as a hat, and he put the, 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 the you know. You know. <laughs> you know, in the cartoons when they jump in the snow and disappear, and it's just the shape of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Whatever. Me and my seven foot eight bitch all in the mouth. Y'all, we're gonna be good. All right, well, shit, let's put a two of both there. What we doing? Ooh. Mountains. I'm doing beach. Beach. Beach sounds fun. I'm doing mountains, but the beach got it on that one. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Uh, shout out to our special guests. We got Kadisha Bus, we got Britt Taylor, and then shout out to the OG squad, me, Lulu Gonzalez, Patrick Cloud, and shout out to y'all for watching. And we'll see you next week on another episode of Squadcast Versus. Peace, guys.